There's a fresh wave of optimism that the key members of the six-way talks on North Korea's denuclearization will make some compromises and agree to resume dialogue in the future. Our foreign affairs correspondent Hwang Sung-hee reports on the back-to-back -back meetings between these key players. Diplomatic activity is picking up speed to try and jumpstart the long-stalled six-party nuclear talks. South Korean Chief Nuclear Envoy Hwang jung guk is in Beijing Friday for talks with his Chinese counterpart U Dawei, following a trilateral meeting with the United States and Japan in Washington earlier this week. South Korea and China will discuss issues related to North Korea's nuclear program, including ways to resume the denuclearization talks. The Chinese envoy will reportedly travel to Washington soon for talks with the U.S. chief nuclear envoy, Glenn Davies. Wu is expected to debrief South Korea and the U.S. on the results of his visit to Pyongyang last month and step up efforts to bring back North Korea to the six-party talks. The multilateral denuclearization dialogue involving the two Koreas, the U.S., China, Japan and Russia, has been stalled since late 2008 but anticipation about a possible resumption is growing. Following their three-way meeting, Seoul, Washington and Tokyo said they will consider more flexibility in bringing Pyongyang back to the negotiating table. The three parties have been demanding North Korea's denuclearization as a precondition to restarting the aid for disarmament talks. South Korea's unification ministry said the North may also be ready to talk things out. In its analysis of North Korea's recent Spring People's Assembly session, the ministry noted the leadership appears to have set its power structure and pointed to the possibility of the regime pursuing the resumption of the talks more aggressively down the road. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.